What's up guys, we're back again with another awesome proof set and today's proof set is the UK 1994 proof set. And this is the normal proof set, the deluxe comes in the red case, Got the Romit logo there. We'll have a little look through this at the end. And I think the mintage on this set is about I think it's 66,700. Seems to be a few discrepancies online when uh, looking it up. Let's see if we can whip it out of here so we can handle it a bit easier. There we go. So let's get straight into it. And we'll do the penny and the two pence together. The copper plated steel, both heavily minted and heavily circulated that year. And we see obviously there's Crown Port Callis there. Badge of the Palace of Westminster. And then uh, the Badge of the Prince of Wales, of course, on the 2P. Nothing special either of those coins. We'll have a quick look at the obverse of the whole set. With the, uh, the Macloof portrait there. Then we move on to the copper nickel coins. And we have the five pence there, the crown thistle, which is the badge of Scotland, heavily minted in this year, nothing special really. But then we move on to an NIFC coin. And this is the 10 pence in 1994, was not circulated. And of course there's the crowned lion, which is part of the badge of England. And to buy one of these will cost you about two to four quid, depending on if you buying a bunk one or a proof one but yeah worth a couple of quid at least and we move on to the 20 pence which was heavily circulated that year nothing special um, but the 20 pence often is so we've got the small denomination stuff out of the way let's get on to the three commemoratives now first up we've got the awesome D-Day landings 50p which Dick depicts 50 years since D-Day. Um, you see the uh, landing craft and the aircraft there. And there is actually no Britannia 50p in existence for this year at all. It just doesn't exist, 1994 Britannia. Um, this coin was circulated instead and with a mintage of about 6.7 million. Obviously, this is the proof version. And you're probably looking at about six or seven quid for one of these. I think a circulated one, maybe four or five quid, depending on condition. And obviously, D Day turned the tide of the Second World War, a huge invasion of Normandy. And of course, we've now got a two pound coin commemorating uh, D Day as well, now, of course, for the 75 years. So, this is obviously 25 years. I go last year. We move on to the pound coin. We see there the rampant lion of Scotland. And this is the first of the heraldic designs um, representing each country for the next few years. Previously, we had the floral designs, of course. Um, this was minted heavily as well and circulated, of course. Everything was in this set and um, was circulated apart from the 10p. And the mintage figure on this was 29.7 million. Has an edge inscription, Latin of course, and it says Nemo me impune la sezet, which mean, no, means no one provokes me with impunity, which is the order of the thistle. And we move on to another stunner here. And this is the Bank of England 300 years anniversary. You see Britannia there in the center, which was the original um, seal of the bank. And you see William and Mary's cipher there, crowned at the top. They were obviously king and queen at the time, 1694. And the stylized Bank of England in the uh, traditional banknote style. Again, has an edge inscription that we can't see because it's uh, encased here, of course. And Latin again, 
and it's sic vos non vobis, which means thus we labour, but not for ourselves. And as the motto of the Scottish financier, and the brains behind the Bank of England, uh, William Patterson. This coin again was circulated, 1,443,116. And spy proof one of these, you're looking at probably 13 to 15 quid. About tenner for a bunk one, and about seven or eight quid for a circulated one. Um, but when I looked up the price on this set, I was honestly shocked because it is so cheap. And you can get this set, buy it now for about 25 quid. And if you look at all the past auctions, recent ones, the, the bidding ones, they're all going for about 20, 22 quid, which I think is just really, really reasonable, I guess is the word. So go and pick one up if you're interested. Let's have a quick look at the um, all the info inside. This will basically say what I just said, but in a lot better, uh, conveyed a, uh, in a lot better way, I guess. Mentioning all about um, the start of the Bank of England there, William and Mary, as I said, and then the uh, pound coin, of course, and the D Day 50 pence. Obviously, pause this at your leisure and have a read through. And the specs of the coins. Of course, the pound and two pound coin, nickel brass, the penny and two pence copper plated steel, and the other four, Cooper and nickel. So, thanks for coming by, guys, and having a look. Hope you enjoyed. We'll be bringing you another proof set soon, I'm sure, the next couple of days. Also, interestingly, you've got a an invitation to join the Royal Mint Coin Club. Wonder what would happen if you sent this off now. <laughs> Interesting. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one.